welcome back to RRC Box. So for today's video, I would like to share with you Melbourne's public transport. So are you an international student or planning to be an international student here in Melbourne? And then checking what are the public transport that you can use while you are in Melbourne. So this video is for you. So there are three kinds of public transports here in Victoria or in Melbourne. So we got the train or the metro, the tram, and then the bus. So let's start with number one, the metro train or the trains. So Melbourne Metro runs um, between the outer suburbs and Flinders Street Station in the city. So they have five stations in the city loop. They called it City Loop, which is the Melbourne's underground um, train system. So they have the five stations such as Southern Cross, Flagstaff, Melbourne Central, Parliament, and then the Flinders Street. I was able to take a video of how Flinders Street um, Station looks like and then how Southern Cross looks like. on uh, Southern Cross because Southern Cross Station is the Melbourne's hub for the regional and interstate trains which is also called the V-Line trains. So um, it's really nice, it's really big and then you can also check that they have the locker, um, locker areas, the lounge, the praying areas, they have a lot of ticketing um, counters, they have also um, the sky bus, the bus going to the city from the airport or from the city going to the airport you can always check it and then um there are also like a lot of monitors a lot of um signs that will tell you which flat forms um which area do you need to go which train is leaving and then coming so there are also timetable that says trains um, trains runs from 5 a.m. to midnight from Monday to Thursday and then runs all night from Fridays to Sundays. Go with number two the tram so i i remember i used to use tram going to my um my place which is avondale heights to the city if i don't want to take bus and then train i just take um tram which is from next to my uh house previous house and then going to the city or if i wanted to make it faster um, or if I don't have much time, I always take the bus and then going to the train st station and then from train station from the suburb of Footscray going to um, the city. So how this tram looks like? So it looks like this. So trams shares roads on the most Melbourne thoroughfares. So Melbourne city centre has free tram. So if you are just only going to, from the city or if your um, boarding house stays in the city and then your workplace is just around the city or your school is just around the city, um, you always have the free tram. You don't need to buy a Mikey or you don't need to top up any, um, any load for your Mikey. So Melbourne City Centre has free tram and then you will be guided by checking free tram zone um, marked in every tram stop. And then you will also be guided by a prompt during your journey where the tram stop, when, where the free tram stop ends. It's very convenient if you will use the tram going to the city or going around the city. Be reminded that each fare costs 4,020 cents. 
So before when I was studying, I was told that um, $4.20 will be used for a good two hours of your travel. So if you're traveling from... Uh, from your house with a bus and then you top up your your mikey from the bus and then you top up again or you top your mikey in the train station again so you will not be charged anymore because there will it will be only four dollars and twenty cents for the two hours of travel and the third one is the buses so the buses, Melbourne buses, run frequently to major hubs such as hospitals, leisureplex, um, schools, shopping centers, and then um, metro trains. So they're all connected. It is easier to travel or to go around Melbourne because everything is connected with the buses, trams, and then the trains. And using public transport in Melbourne, you need to buy a Mikey. So recently I bought my new Mikey because the one that I used before is already expired. So I got it only for $6 recently and then I need to top up my card uh, with $10 going to the city. You can always buy your Mikey card in any trains, uh, train station or you can always top up your Mikey card in any tram or train station. buses and then you cannot find any tram or train station close to your to your place and then you need to top up your Mikey you can always top up top up your card with the driver so that's all I hope um, this video is helpful and then um, enjoy going around Melbourne